everybody. I wanted to do a quick uh, video on how I clean my stamps. I saw a video tutorial, but I think it's called Bomb Kitchen. I mean, I think that's how you pronounce it. But um, they had used these chamois. It's the Lawn Fawn chamois, and it's a, like a stamp cleaner, uh, chamois for to clean your stamps. And so I saw that they put it in like a tray and filled it with water, which I have some water here. And um, because what I was doing before is I, this was my original one and I would take this, I would go to the sink, soak it, and then I'd have it on like, I don't even know what I used to do, but it just was a hot mess. Like I'd clean it and this one I've been using on the tray with the bomb kitchen method what I'll call it and look at how clean like it's not even that bad which I mean it doesn't matter what it looks like it does the job but okay so what I use is the chamois a tray some water I have this is just like a I buy these from like Home Depot or like a hardware store they they're like just I don't know if they're t-shirts but they're just like cotton things that so you could take an old t-shirt and just cut it up or something but they're I don't know if they're in the painting section. Painters, something, scraps, I don't know, but. And then they had suggested to use stays on, and this is a, oh my gosh, dauber style. So that comes in handy because what I was using before was like this spray on one. So I would spray it on the stamp, and then I had this um, scrubby thing that I could use, which I still sort of use this. So let's get to business. I'm gonna take the water and I am, let's move some things, just gonna soak it in here. So I'm just gonna make sure it gets wet. More water, and it doesn't really, there's no science onto how much water. I just want the whole thing to be saturated. There, that's good. So we are still Krista creating a mess. <laughs> it's what I do best. Okay. Um, oh, I I need paper. Okay, this is just Tamoy River paper. I've been loving stamping on Tamoy River paper. Why wouldn't I? I love stamping in my Obanichi, so plain Tamoy River paper would be the same, right? So let's get a little better organized here. This doesn't need to be like this. Okay, so let's, oh my, okay. So I'm going to try, I, you know, I didn't get a stays on ink, but maybe I'll get that one after. But we'll try a Sachihara ink. And then I'll just ink it up, stamp it. And then what I do is I just dab it in here. And then I dab it on the cloth. And see, it's already gone, like, just from that one dab, there's nothing on here. So I did a bad job on that, but let's, sorry, let's see. Let's get a Versamagic. Um, I'm right-handed. Sometimes I think I might be ambidextrous, but I'm pretty sure I'm just right-handed. And then, um, let's see. So there's still ink on there. And then you can see the ink on here coming off. I just dab it on there. It's just so much easier, whereas before I would get this wet, I mean, and then I'd do this and then my hands would be all, this is hands-free. I'm so loving this um, method. And then, you know, you should let it dry. So maybe I'll just flip it up this way to just kind of let it dry. And then let's get a more solid stamp. Let's the brilliance, which I've been loving, the brilliance. <laughs> Real life stamping people. <laughs> Real life stamping friends. Okay, so that's again, right-handed person. There we go, let's do second generation. So we know there's still, you can see the ink. Let's see how it looks. And then it's pretty good. Look, there's nothing on the cloth. And I don't mind like some staining. That's just gonna happen with some inks and that's probably because I used the brilliance. But we can dab it again. 
And then what I found was if I just did this, I mean, I don't need to do this, but it, I don't know where the ink goes really. Like it's gone, see? So my ink, I mean my chamois is not gonna be as, not gonna be as like inked up, which again, this still works. It's not a big deal. Uh, let's see, so we use these. Let's get a stays on, right? I'm gonna tell you stays on. Oh, I didn't show you this. Oh, you know what? Let's try that with this because this may be, because Bomb Kitchen said if your stamp still has some, I think it's for like oil-based stamp, which I'm not sure if the brilliance is, but all I do is I just dab it. And you can see it's getting wet. And then I just go on here, which, you know, I guess if there was still some ink that could come off, it would come off on here, but it's not. But I love that, again, hands-free. It's not gonna be messy, like this spritz on one, which if, it was being stubborn, I would maybe do the dauber and then I would just kinda, just to get all in between the, like, you know what I mean. So let's get a stays on. Let's find a stamp that I don't mind if in case it stays. that other one look at that that's what stays on I mean this is a stays on cleaner but it I mean, seriously, the chamois is doing the job because there's hardly any ink coming on the cloth. And I use the cloth mainly just to dry the stamp so that I'm not just, um, I don't know. But, yeah, I think that's, we tried Versafine. Should we try Memento? Try Memento and an Archival. I mean, seriously, it's magical, that chamois. I've loved it for so long. I mean, obviously, this one looks loved. Um, here, I'll... No, I don't need to... Oh, here, let me just put this one in here. And you'll see that it works just fine. <laughs> and then, let's see. And I'll show you how I store... Um, where's the water? How I store... My, all my stamping supplies because that has definitely made a huge difference on me using what I have. I need to keep an extra one of these towels or cloths in there. Okay, that's good. Okay, I just want to show you that even though it's stained, it'll still work. So we will do archival next. <laughs> Choices. Anything? Let's, oh, let's do this one. Night Finger.
regeneration. There's still ink on there, clearly. Uh oh. Oh, you know why? This is archival. I think archival is oil based. So, okay, so let's see. Well, see, it's still not really coming off here, but let's see what the stays on cleaner does for us. Oh my, wow. Game changer. This one, ink, more ink came off. See, look. She's done, she's clean. I just wanna, I don't know if it's okay to keep the whatever cleaner, but I'll just do water. Water will never hurt, right? Water's good for our bodies. I'm sure it's okay for our stamps. And then maybe I wanna take this scrubber thing, just cause I think I still see some in the tin. I'm probably scrubbing it too hard. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Okay, so archival ink is good too. I mean, as far as being able to get clean. Just leave that there. So that's, and I'll list all the supplies that I use in the bottom of the description. So let's kind of put this let's clear up the area because I wanted to show you. So obviously I'm storing my ink pads in a, it's not obvious, but it's an acrylic drawer, but it's from Muji. So I'm gonna put these away. I'm really trying to work on putting things away after usage, right? Because that's part of my issue. I create a hot mess, I don't put things away, and then it hinders me creating more stuff or wanting to create more stuff because I did not clean up. Okay, so... The beautiful thing about this is I can leave this in here and it'll just kind of absorb, but this is way too much water. I would take it to the sink. And I like to uh, rinse out the chamois um, just in case there's still ink in. I don't know where the ink goes, that's why. It's mind boggling. It's not in the water, I, I don't know. So I rinse these out and I rinse out the tray. And then what happens is I keep these in here and I keep like, some stamp pads like this is just a cushion which I also have another cushion that I use that it helps in another video I'll show you that but in case you were wondering what these are I use them as cushion underneath so that I get a crisper image which I could have done it here but I didn't and then the stays on cleaner that I showed you and then this is really old so I don't even know if this still works but I got it from Simon Says Stamps um, so I keep this in here the cloth, my little scrubby thing, which I'm debating if I should trim it down a little bit so it fits perfectly in here, but for now, she's gonna angle. And then in this tray here, so what it does is it'll stack like this, and then I'll stack this tray on top of here, and then it will look pretty like that. But in this one, I've got just the water, some acrylic blocks, some of these, uh, sponge daubers, I'm pretty sure they're called. And then another stamp cleaner, and then some of these misty things for water to spritz. And then it stays, like this. It stays nice and neat. Obviously there would not be water in here, but if I was still crafting, I could put everything, stack it, and then put it on the side. But water makes me nervous, so I would definitely, if I'm done, I would, put this on this I would empty out the water and then I'd be done but I hope that helps you um, clean your stamps and stay organized and craft more create and craft bye everybody thanks for tuning in oh and if you like this video can you please hit the like and if you're not subscribing subscribe and maybe share this video with a friend and maybe they'll subscribe and they'll like the video but I'm hoping to have to be back on more often with more content that will be helpful for you guys. Bye.